speaking. Right, welcome to this video. So in this video we're going to have a look at fire dragons. See if I can reduce your learning curve on these elites here. Uh, so first up, mine aren't painted, but they are next on my list for Alda uh, to be painted. So yeah, I'm actually looking forward to painting these guys. It'll be really interesting painting these guys orange. Um, I will mix a bit of purple in there as well, keep my idiot colour scheme going. Um, Okay, so the Exarch itself, I have magnetised him, so he has his fire, uh, Dragon's Breath uh, Flamer on there, and he has the Fire Pike, which is magnetised. But we'll come to the Exarch in a minute. So, first up, how, how, what are these like? Let's have a look. Well, it's fair to say that these are probably, they're probably the best Elite's choice that we have. Um, okay, there's Harlequins in there, there's you know, some other sound choices, but these guys here, you can't really go wrong. Now, in 5th edition, they, they actually excelled, even though it's a 4th edition codex, because 5th edition, everyone was mecked up, and basically these fusion guns are mounter guns, so fantastic for taking out vehicles. Obviously, 6th edition has changed slightly, there's less vehicles around, but what we're seeing now is there's more AP2 stuff, where the power weapons got nerfed, power weapons, most of them now AP3, uh, everyone's putting AP2 armor on, so power weapons don't, no damage against them, but not the mounter guns. So a unit of mounter guns um, can be very, very useful in 6th edition, both for taking vehicles, for taking those terminators and stuff out. Um, of course, they also have each one of these a melter bomb. So again, with all the flying monstrous creatures and stuff on there, if you do manage to ground the monstrous creature, you can assault it with your melter bombs. Or if it's just a normal monstrous creature, uh, you can attach the melter bombs to them now. So that's another good bonus. So very strong units in sixth edition. In terms of use, to be fair, you can't really go wrong with these guys. You could either have a unit of five, you know, the most basic, cheapest units. You wouldn't necessarily have these guys on foot, but you could put them into Wave Serpent, potentially a Valken, although I think the Wave Serpent's the best choice. We'll come to Valkans later. Um, but yeah, use them as a suicide unit. They can go out, find their target, um, and then next turn get out the tank and just destroy whatever they're going to you know, target. Okay, they're going to die the next turn. I mean, they do have a 4 plus save. Um, still strength 3, toughness 3 though, the usual stuff for Aldar. But as a suicide unit, 5 mounted guns, pretty, pretty impressive. Now, the other way to use them is have a much bigger unit. So, I mean, I would max out here. Um, 7, 8, 9 or 10, ideally probably 9 or 10 of these guys. And uh, this is actually now quite a powerful unit. You can have this unit either in the Wave Serpent, or you can have them in your Foot Dar. Um, again, 10 mounted guns, fantastic. Okay, they're short range, only 12 inches. So you have to still use them the right way. It's no good just putting them up front, and you know they're just going to get blasted off the table, and they're not going to have a chance to use a 12 inch gun. But if you can position them in the correct manner, uh, ideally behind another unit, the unit can take the brunt of it, these guys move up and hey presto, 10 mounted guns are very very useful. Obviously the Exart himself, this guy here, is it worth taking an Exart? Well, again this unit is just so versatile that I would say that um, you can't go wrong really. I mean if you have an Exart, fantastic, put the Exart in there go for the fire pike, I really wouldn't use the, fl the flamer, I mean some people you know, use it but in my experience the fire pike is the one to go, it gives you that slightly better range, okay he's only got his, you know, his shots at that longer range but it just gives you that extra um, you know, coin in the pocket as such. So yeah, um, I would go for the fire pike, the XR powers again they're, they're pretty useful, you know, ignoring the cover etc on his uh, two powers. Um, you know, you can take them, beef up the unit, you can not take them, just have a big unit without him, they're still very, very capable, and even a small unit of five guys, very, very useful. Not necessarily in a foot list, although there are options, I mean, you could potentially have them in a foot list, but, um, uh, yeah, I would go for Wave Serpent with five guys, 
potentially wave seven with ten guys. Or if you're on foot, almost definitely, you know, have that big squad of ten guys or so. Okay, so that's it for the fire dragons. As I said, you can't really go wrong. Um, fantastic units, still current, 16 points a model, not too bad for what they've got. So yeah, um, fire dragons, go for it. Okay, next up we're going to have a look at uh, Wraith Guard.